Hello, well, uh, we are Nerds of the West. Today we are playing Jumpstart Oathbreaker. And if you don't know how this works, which, why would you? This is literally the second time this format has ever been played in all of existence. Uh, this is Jumpstart, where we smash three packs of 20 Jumpstart cards together. We pick a Planeswalker to go along with it, and then we choose a signature spell from the packs that we crack. We are taking all the best parts of Jumpstart, all the best parts of Oathbreaker, putting them together. We have a Callum. How are we doing? My name is Tom. The way this is going to work is we each have one pack to open. Uh, I have picked Dominaria United. And I have gone with Jumpstart 2020. Uh, and then based off what the other sees, the other person will pick one of the many packs we have open to go with a colour. Basically, hate drafting. Oh, you've picked artefacts, you definitely can't have white. Take black. Uh, and then the person will then pick their third colour. So, crack a pack, opponent picks a colour, then you get to pick a colour to pick a Planeswalker to go along with. We don't have all Planeswalkers available to us, and our second game today, we are going to crack open a pack and then pick monocoloured based on that pack, because otherwise you never see monocoloured commanders, and that's just not very fun. Yeah, especially in this format when your opponent is specifically hate drafting you, you're not gonna often pick someone the same colour where it's like, oh, you've got blue, let me keep that trend and give you more blue. Exactly, no one's gonna, no one needs to play more blue. Anyway, one of us is about to crack blue. We are. <laughs> I can't remember what, uh, uh, what, 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 I think I got white. Teamwork. E. Oh, mine doesn't come in wrap. Coalition Corps, which is basically also teamwork. Okay, uh, rubbish is going anywhere in particular. Yeah, let, let, me, let me see if I got a cool mythic in here. Let's see if I got a cool mythic in here. All right, well, I think, oh, hell yeah, this is soldiers. Soldiers? Yeah. Is that the mythic, uh, the legendary soldiers? Or there are no mythics, unfortunately, just two rares. I got one rare. Uh, I have Come a on, Valiant on. Veteran. I'm hoping that's about to show up. Hell yeah. I got uh, one other soldiers one. get plus one, plus one. Uh, do I have soldiers as well? No, I've got knights, soldiers, angels, cats. What do we have? Uh, and oh. a Sarah Redeemer, which is a banger. I assume you're not going to pick red for me. I'm definitely not going to pick red for you, even though you should absolutely pick red for me just so I can play Comet Stellar Pump. Um, whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, put two 1 1 counters on that creature. Okay. Alright. I have Agris Cost Eternal Soldier. Spirit Soldier, Vigilance. Whenever Agris Cost Eternal Soldier becomes the target of any ability that targets only it, you may pay two. If you do, copy that ability for each other creature you control that ability could target. So if I get enough mana, I go bloop, 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 bloop. There's actually a deck I want to build as an angel. One of the, it's the classic red, white angel, can't remember oh, its yeah. name. It's got a card that does this effect where it's like target it and pay two to copy. Uh, it's not Feather, it's the other one. No, it is Feather. Uh, it is Feather? It's, I always, Feather and Winona, I get. It's Feather, but it's not the big Feather. It's not a big Feather. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's such a cool proxy out for it that I'm like, I need to print that. All right. Well, look, I'm going to be honest. I don't have a lot of options on the board for uh, uh, white. I have a my, my choices are either white, black or white, black. Uh, so do if you, you have other choice, you can also choose white red, and I will absolutely play with Comet Stellar Cup. Let's but. flip to the back of my binder. I have white blue, mm -hmm. white black, white red. Honestly, uh, if I was you, I would pick white blue to go along with this to force like, you into a to for, force me into. Um, Depends. What does white blue do? You don't want to give me white green to give me more token power. You don't want to give me white black to give me life link. Sure, I have white. I have quite a bit of white green. Um, white, red, got a couple. White, blue will force you into Dovin, which is... Which is just funny. Uh, until end of turn, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on Dovin. It was you I think we're both getting good things, were you regardless about of what we pick here. making tokens? Is that what I... There's a little bit of tokens in here. What are you feeling? What do you want me to pick for you? Do you have any three-color ones that will work for I this? A single... But it's, it's not, not white. It does not have white. You have a three color one. I do, but he's teamer colored. Um, you know what? Let's put you into. So you've got white, green, white, black. All right. How about this? Blue, right? We both get a white pack, right? We both pick white for the other person, and then we get to choose which way we want to go. Because we're both playing white, right? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So, so we'll both get a white pack. Here we I'm go. Grab this one. That's empty. <laughs> <laughs> now these should be color sorted. I apologize if they're not. This is law. Cool. Uh, this one was not. This is green. What's uh, my... Blink. I got some Blinkertons. Do I have more than one? 
Don't even bother looking at it yet. We'll see the rest of them as they come out. Now, what would you like your sound color to be? Uh -huh. Green or white? Um, we got to get onto the actual I am going to choose point. green. You mean green or black? Gr green or black or red or green. You're, you're I'm going to choose... Um, I'm going to choose green. Okay. And purely for the sake of choosing Mr. Ajisha. Do I want Ajani? You know what, let's go Ajani. Expensive, but I'm going to go Ajani. Okay. I think I want to run with it just for the lols, because I'll never get to play them otherwise. I'm going to run Comet Stella Pop. I do have Quintorius, if you would rather. Quintorius would be very funny, but I'd rather wait and see him in your Oathbreaker deck um, that you're building. You said that was green? Uh, that is a green one, yes. Because you've already opened it, I'm going to take green. All right, I'll take red. So I'm playing Blinking Soldier Goblins. Hell yeah. Let's get game one going. We may have uh, cut all that talk out in that case. We are ready to go. If you have missed it, I am playing Comet Stellar Pup as my commander. Uh, zero roll a six-sided die based on what I roll. I will get different bonuses. Mostly I want to roll a one or a two uh, and make some scroll tokens, but I could also uh, deal some damage and have some removal. But my signature spell is Burn Bright, creatures I control get plus two plus O. Oh. I'm playing white, red, go wide. Yep. I am playing Ajani, Valiant Protector. Um, plus two puts two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. Uh, plus one is reveal target cards, or reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card, put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And minus 11, which is the reason I chose my um, signature spell, is to put X plus one plus one counters on target creature where X is your life total, that creature gains trample until end of turn. So that can be a um, game ender. My one mana instant spell is target blocking creature gets plus seven plus seven till end of turn. So I'm hoping that if Tom happens to swing at me with enough that would take a Ajani out of the game, because he is a six drop, I can pump that out and hopefully get it a little bit closer to Colsey. Now I was looking for our other big dice, but suck it, you get the small dice because you're playing green and I'm playing red. Cool. 20. Also on 20. It's nice to play 60 card again every once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Look, I got the fancy land. That's all I care about. Thanks for telling uh, me. We didn't roll first, so... B to six. B to five. Sweet. I'll be going first. I will not play a land. I'm uh, sorry, I will not draw a card. I'll play a Thriving Bluff, naming white, and I will pass the turn. I will draw for turn because I am second. I will play Thriving Heath, naming green, and pass the turn. Hell yeah. Uh, raw. I will play a fancy looking land and I will pay two for an Ardoz Cobbler of War. Whenever a Ardoz or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature gets plus two plus O until end of turn. I would like to go to combat and hit you for three. You got haste. Hell you? yeah, it has haste. I will take three down to 17. Turn. Untap. Draw. Please be a two drop. That's not a two drop. Ha, huh, suck it, man. Um, I... We'll pass turn. Oh, that's not good. I will play a Foil Planes. And for three... Uh, gross. Yep. Uh, I will pay three for a Goblin Rabble Master. Other goblin creatures you control or attack each combat if able. I'm not slowing down. It's all speed all the time. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one goblin creature token with haste. And whenever he attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn for each other attacking goblin. Okay. So, uh, I would like to go to combat. Beginning of combat on my turn, I will make a... Uh, I will probably need to make a token eventually, but I will make a 1-1 one, one attacking goblin. Uh, this gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn, and I'll swing at you for 4. I will take 4. Down oh, to, yeah. what am I down to, 13? Yeah. This game is probably going to go fast. I don't like that you got both your rares in your opening hand. Look, we shuffled these decks quite a lot. Yeah. Draw for turn. Um, I will play a forest for turn. And let me tap three for a Gift of the Gargantuan. Look at the top four cards in my library. May reveal a creature card and or a land card from among them. Put the revealed cards into my hand and the rest in the bottom of my library in any order. Top four cards. One, two, three, four. Please be some creatures. Holy. Game two. 
Um, look, it probably will be. I think I'm about to hit you for something like 10. Yeah, I shouldn't have kept this hand, but hey. Um, there's a land. You'll have to see. I don't get to reveal a creature. You'll have to see. Go ahead. All right. This is my joblin. He's a very good joblin. He's doing his job. <laughs> nice to be here. Uh, for the fun of it, uh, I, this might also end the game. Uh, I'm going to cast Comet Stellar Pup. I'm going to activate his ability to roll a six-sided die. That is a six. Uh, I may activate... Uh, so he gets plus one, so he is up to uh, six loyalty. I'll find the six later. Uh, you may activate Comet Stellar Pup's loyal abilities two more times this turn. So okay. I'll roll again. That yep. is a one, which creates two one-one green squirrel creature tokens. They gain haste until end of turn. That is currently hitting you uh, for uh, six. That one one hitting me for six. Or uh, well, it's six? two one one squirrels, and that is another two one one squirrels, which hits you for twelve because each of them get plus two plus zero oh until end of turn. Whenever or another creature enters the battlefield, that creature gets plus two plus zero. Oh. So they're three three squirrels. They're three three squirrels, but I've made four of them. Okay. Okay. Then I make another goblin. Uh, I just want to do the maths. So I hit you for 12. This hits you for one. That's 13. That's game. This makes another goblin. So that hits you for uh, up to 16. This gets plus one plus O for each other attacking goblin. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's uh, 17 up to 23. And this one hits you for one. 24 damage on turn four. I get, I'll just go home. That, like, that was busted. That. Did I, you even need the white in your deck? <laughs> no. <laughs> that wasn't even playing Oathbreaker. That was just playing Jumpstart and you just got. I looked at my hand and went, okay. I should have mulliganed. I should have. I had a lot Most of land light. and not much to do with it. But yeah, math is for blockers, Tom. Yeah. But I like the counting. Hopefully I can draw some creatures this time. I hope so. It'd be, it'd be better for the content if you did. You Would could just you be like a better magic player. To cut? Oh, hurry up, Tom. Oh my god. Uh, here, you just shuffle the shit out of this for me. And I'll cut your deck just a little bit. I said shuffle the shit out of, not drop the shit out of. Technically, dropping it can be shuffling. <laughs> Technically, it's allowed. It's like there's a, a, a magic... Nowhere thing. in the official rules of Jumpstart Oathbreaker does it say you can't damage your opponent's cards. <laughs> if they, look, if you let me touch your deck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck that shit up. But no, it reminds me of a, a Pen and Teller, like not a Pen and Teller trick. It was a trick on Pen and Teller's like um, fooled you, yeah. fooled us. Basically, where a guy gets them to shuffle the deck upside down, right way up, etc., etc., stacks it all on a pile, and then goes, "Your cards are the right." Like after after, the battle, after shuffling, yeah. throwing some throwing some cards on the floor, flipping it like a child, riff like any kind of shuffle you want. Cards are upside down, cards are right side up. I love that. Um, I'm gonna cut your deck as well. Do it. Sweet. Uh, would you like to play or the draw? I will play this time. Did you play last time? Yeah. Seven. I can keep this. I... I shouldn't, but I can. We'll also keep this. All right. Cool. Um, go ahead. Draw. Land. Go ahead. Draw. Let's play Thriving Heath, naming green, and I will tap for a Gideon's Law Keeper. Hell yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'll play two for a Distinguished Conjurer. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Okay. Uh, and for four and tap, exile another target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Like a, just a little flicker, boy. Turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Ooh. Uh, let's drop a forest for turn. Three mana. Tom's already not hitting me for 20, which is nice. So You'll love to see it. Um, Look, I'm going to say it. I have no red cards in hand. I, I wouldn't know. Um, let me go ahead. I will tap three for an overgrowth. Oh, bang. Um, enchant land, whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional green green. Um, let's throw that on 
let's throw on a basic land. Let's let's put it on the plains so cool. I can tap that. You got options. Three. Um, you have a one, two. So go ahead. Sweet, draw a land. I did three lands. Um. I think I need to pass the turn. Cool. Yep. And tap. Draw for turn. Um, let me. Standstone Bridge will come in tapped. When it enters the battlefield, target creature will get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance till end of turn. Nice. Targeting Gideon's Law Keeper. Yep. So I will swing at you for two. I will take two. Down to 18. Thank you very much. I have something in your end step there. Uh, who says I'm in my end step? You. This is not a spin down dice. No, it's just a big old die. What the hell? Uh, All right. None of the matters. Uh, I've got life counters on the screen. One, two, three, four, five. I have five mana because that taps for three. Okay. Five mana. That is pretty gross. I have no lands in hand, so. Uh... Um, let me... Should have done this the other way around. I don't think it's going to matter. So three, four, I'm going to play a combat professor. Oh yeah. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature I control gets plus one, plus zero, and gains vigilance. So that's all right. Cool. They are all there. And go ahead. All right, in your own step, I'm going to flash in a resolute reinforcement. It is a 1 1. And when it's the battlefield, I'd create a 1 1 white soldier creature token. So I'm going to need a lot of these. I am back up to 20 life. Uh, and this is a big smiley soldier boy. Soldier boy up in. He's got a little hat with a feather in it. Soldier. Alright, I'll drop a turn and I'll drop a planes. Who needs alternate colours of mana? Exactly. So what have you got? A one one one, one two, two three three. Let's then Did you gain your life? I did. Way? I'm up to twenty life. My dice is just dumb because it's not spin down, so I don't care about it. You're also on twenty life, not thirteen. Who cares about oh. dice? We have it on the screen. Uh I will yeah, that's the right play. I'll pay two for a Valiant Veteran. Other soldiers I, soldiers I control get plus one, plus one. Uh, and I can exile him from my graveyard and put a 1-1 one, one counter on each soldier I control. I'll gain a life up to 21. And I will swing at you for four. So it's a... Now, before combat. Before you, combat or before? No, no, no. Blocking? I'm just saying, I, I would like to go to combat. You do have I, a I, tap I, target creature if you wish. Does that say one one? And yeah, these so these are, these are all. Swinging at me for four. Uh, other soldiers I control get plus one plus one. Okay. So that's a one one. One one, one 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 two. How much mana do you have open? Two mana open. I. No. No box. No. Uh, well, oh, first of all. I'd go like to, to go to combat. Go to combat. Cool. I would like to swing at you for, for four. No blocks. All right. I take, take four. four. Down to 16. Look, you got two mana open and it's white, so... It's fair. 10? Yes. Cool. Do I have anything I want to do on my end step? Probably not. Cool. Untap. Draw for 10. Get spicy in here. Planes for turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's some funions. That's uh, commander mana right there. Yeah. That is why I, excuse me, do need red. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Three, four, five, six for Ajani. Commander mm -hmm. is in play. You know what, I'm just gonna use this for my, I'm down to 16 on the screen. That's what matters. Hell yeah. Um, you're going to go four, and I'm actually going to plus two him to put two plus one plus one counters on my combat professor. So we are going to go up to six. Where's the six? There it is. And I'm going to steal this little two plus one plus one counters. Nice. Um, move to combat. Yes. 
Um, at the beginning of combat on my turn, target creature I control gets plus one plus oh and gains vigilance to end of turn. So target himself. I'm mm -hmm. gonna swing at you for five. Five. Down to 16. Um, and I will end my turn. Hell yeah. Let's see if I draw another land for turn. Hey, look, it's a red land. Oh, I like the pace of this game more than the first one. This is definitely nice. Now, do I slow you down a little bit? Or do I go for the throat a little bit? I think I think I prefer this play. I'm gonna pay four for a Fates Fetters. Enchant permanent, when it enters the battlefield, I gain four life, which will yep. put me back up to 20. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Now, I don't know if you know this, Planeswalker abilities are activated abilities. Okay. But so it can't I'm, block. So. I'm just going to shut down your commander, okay. and then we'll just play a nice normal game Friendly. of magic. Friendly. Planeswalkers don't matter. Okay. That thing. That's so rude. Just, just put that right there. Right there. I had to quickly look it up and be like, I think these are activated abilities. Uh, so that puts me back up to 20 life. And that's you. Uh, and you've got multiple blockers up now. I don't have mana up, so I will pass the turn. In your end step, <gasps> I'm gonna tap for a white, and I'm gonna cast Light of Hope. Destroy oh, yeah. target enchantment. Nice. So that can go love, back to your love bin. love that for you. I love that for me as well. Look, it was still the right play. It was. It was. If I didn't have that in hand, then absolutely. absolutely. Untap, draw for turn. Um, yeah, I'm, so, I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm still feeling. Why? Are, I was about to say, why is this in this deck? Because it's three different packs. Of course, it would make a knight and another soldier, because that would just be too good for me. Um, okay, let's go. What did I, I enchanted that one? Let's go ahead. Let's start by pumping my Ajani up to eight. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, I yeah, am. It's gone. Uh, we're going to do two more counters on this guy. So four. Just casually. Just casually. Yeah. Um, I'm only going to tap this one land for three mana because we're having a great time. For an Iron Bully. Menace, and when Iron Bully enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. We're gonna pump you up some more. Oh yeah. Um, how much life are you on, Tom? I am on 20. Okay, so not enough to be worried just yet. Um, two, three, four mana, cool. Move to combat. Yep. Trigger, yep. target himself, plus one, plus one to end of turn. Sweet. Swing for eight. I take eight. That flying though. Mm-hmm. Um, and second main, I'm going to tap three to Task Force. Whenever Task Force becomes the target of a spell or ability, it gets plus O plus three till end of turn. Nice. And on that, I will pass. Let's see if I continue my luck of drawing a land for turn. I did not. It is okay. Uh, it is not perfection, but it is okay. I will pay three. Uh, for a Bright Mare. When it enters the battlefield, tap up to one target creature. I gain life equal to that creature's power. I would like to gain seven life and tap your big boy. Tap the big boy. Tap the big boy. You sure I don't want to tap this one? Fairly sure I don't want to tap that one. Okay. It would be um, fun though. Like, like to gain one life and give him plus zero plus three. Great magic. It is tapped. No response. I gain seven. Back up to 19. Uh, I... Gain a life for Bright Mare. That's just tapped and for your turn, right? Or untapped yes. normally? Uh, I gain a life for Bright Mare entering the battlefield. I am back up to 20. Uh, and I would like to go to combat and swing at you for uh, one, three, five, seven. Um, so one, that's two total. Yep. So it's one, two, two, two. two. One, two, two, two. Um, I think one, two, two, two. Go and put the pressure on somehow. Puts you down to nine life. Let's. So I'll block the one with my one three. Yep. 
I'll take the six. Take six. Down to ten. And I pass the turn. Cool. Untap. Hell yeah. Draw for turn. I do like Jumpstart just for like, it gives you so many creatures that have abilities on them. Yes, yeah, they're, they're like nano things later in the games. It's it's, it's good. It's um, fun. How much life are you on? Nineteen. Nineteen. And I'm on ten. Ah, uh, sorry, no, I'm on twenty. And you're on, on twenty. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. Oh, I don't have lethal on the crack back. Cool. 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 I could plus one him to find creatures and or lands. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven would be eight. Nine, 10, yep, that's plus one. That's plus two, up to 10, targeting this guy again. So I'm gonna take your big dive, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So five goes up to seven counters. So he's currently a nine, a Is nine, ten. So nine, ten, yeah. Yep. Um, let's go ahead, move to combat. Yep. This will target itself once again. Yep. And I will swing at you for 10. 10 damage. I take 10 in the air. Let's go ahead, tap three mana, and I'll cast a Thrashing Brontodon. Nice. I can pay one and sack it, thrash, uh, sacrifice Thrashing Brontodon, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Yep. You don't have any artifacts or enchantments in play right now? No. Cool. Um, add on that. I will... Pass. All right, I'm dead in the air next turn. So let's see what I can do. I mean, that is useful. Can I only cast one spell, so which is the best one to cast? That would put me up to 13, which is still dead in the air to that next turn. So I think I have to play the stall game and hope you don't have creature removal. Um, that is definitely not enough to to kill you. Looking at my, my commander that I can cast, uh, it's only removal uh, is, it deals damage equal to the number of loyalty counters on it to any creature or player. Um, okay. But that would only deal five to that, so not. Not super useful. Uh, so I am going to play a Griffin Protector. It is a 2-3 with flying. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, he gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay. I have a flyer. That's all I have. I do gain a life. Yep. Up to 11. Um, there is no real point in swinging. Mostly because you have the 3-4 now. Like you could just take a couple of hits of damage and be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will pass it him. Just cool. got good cards, but cool, I cool, cool. I will go to my turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Does not have trample. That's got menace. I could plus two you, which would put it in lethal range on the turn after. Mm. I could neg one you to search for... No, it's plus one. Oh, sorry, plus one, which also, okay. Because that puts you in neg 11 range as well. Yeah. Um, plus one, plus O, oh, vigilance. You are on, sorry, 10 life. I'm on 10 life. We are both on 10 life. Both on 10. You know what, we're gonna plus one and look for an answer. Okay. So. Um, it's sorry. reveal. Reveal cards from the top of your library. They were this way. Yeah. Yep. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. 
So land, creature. The land goes to the bottom in a random order. So what's the creature? The creature is an angel. When angel protector becomes a target, so basically the same as task force. Just with flying. Um, protector gets plus O plus three until end of turn. Okay. Look, it's another flyer. It's another flyer. That's not great for me. Uh, put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. So the land went in a random order. Um, one, so three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go one, two, three, four, and let's play Angelic Protector. Nice. I wish I had this life game that you had because I've played enough creatures. Oh, that it so would... many cards. Yeah. Um, flying, which is great. Tote creature. I was thankful that the rest of your creatures are fairly weak. Like, I don't have to actually block any of them. Cool. Uh, I would like to move to combat. Of course. Uh, once again, I'm going to have combat professional. Yep. Combat professor target itself. Yep. Um, that is 10 damage coming Sweet. at you in the air. I will block with my Griffin Protector. Okay, okay. I could have oh, I tapped. I could have. That, that's legal. Like, that. that's. No, you, you, you don't do have that. another no, 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 no. That's. Yeah. I will. Before combat, sorry, I will tap your griffin protect your yep. griffin, and then I will swing with combat. Protection. I will take ten. Would have been nice. Game three. Look at you go. Look at me go. I'm not even going to show you what I had in my hand because I want to surprise you. Nice. Next time. I hope so. Um, land, land, land. You go over there. I didn't even get to cast my instant because you didn't swing enough. Honestly, I don't know if I was on 10 or 11 life there, but I think it was enough. Um, land, land. Let's shuffle this stuff. Oh, well, look at that awful shuffling. Pretty much awful dare shuffling. Mana weaving. <laughs> uh, it's fun pointing that out to people. They're like, oh, it's just how you shuffle to make sure it's like balanced. It's like, yeah, that's that's illegal. Cops can get you for that. Cops can try and get me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, everyone knows the cops don't go to Rocky Man. That's why you hear the cars uh, drive past the house. Honestly, I was waiting for rain and thunder to hit, to be honest. No, it's not hitting till tomorrow afternoon. Mm, fun. So you've got probably till about four or five o'clock tomorrow before. Rain and thunder, yeah. and then it's raining, and then it's absolutely bucketing down on Sunday. Sunday's gonna be. Bad. So there's supposed to be a music festival, a free music festival to celebrate our state, our wonderful state, WA Day. It's, um, it's Monday, but they do a two-day music festival for free. It's a lot of fun, focus on local music, uh, and they're just like, we're just calling it now. The rain's going to be have, too bad. Have you seen the photos? Yeah. And it's like the rain wasn't even bad the other day. It, it was, was It was a mud pit the other day. They put rubber mats down and stuff to yeah. try and like water it off, and it. It, was, it was through the rubber mats. Yeah. It was wet. I got friends who are driving out for one of them totally legitimate bush parties. Uh, and I'm like, why? I would not risk it. Like, y'all are going to be there for like 12 hours and then it's going to start pissing down with rain. And mm -hmm. just you know, so many cars are going to get bogged. Okay. Game three. Game literally. All the, all the nuts and marbles. Look, if you put them on the bottom of your deck, that's your, your problem. Uh, I will take the play. Oh, will you now? <sighs> Two mana. No. I too, also, too many four and five drops. I have one mana in hand, and I looked at it, I'm like, there's, there's some good curve here, and then I just kept seeing spells. I, had, like. I had a Valor and a Croas. That would have been nice. I think I had cards I hadn't seen before, but I just straight up looked at the mana value and went, I can't cast those. I had one three drop and then four and five drops, which is just not a keepable hand. Yeah. No. Not that I think these are explicitly made to be able to play on curve, but. Thank you, Kaiser. And you're welcome. Uh, so, London Mulligan rolls, we still draw seven. And. 
bottom some bottom something. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Bad idea, but it is technically keepable. So I will drop that. Great card though. Adorable art. Here, don't look. I look at the little guy. Will I will drop that, and I'm hoping it pays off. I'm, I'm hoping this pays off. <gasps> Foil planes go. Why am I tapping it? Go ahead. Draw for turn. Oh, hell yeah. Mountain. Two, four, distinguished conjurer. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I gain a life. If it is under my control. Go ahead. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll drop a, play, a mountain and I will play a goblin rabble master, which will gain me a life. And other goblin creatures I control attack each combat if table able at the beginning of combat on my turn. Create a one, one red goblin creature token with haste. So I will gain two life because I'm moving directly to combat and I will swing at you for one. I will take one, please. I am up to 19. 22. You're down to 19. Turn. <sighs> Go ahead. No. I was hoping. Buddy. No. I was hoping. No. Again. And then I saw the goblin come out and I was like, oh no. Um, oh no. I will go to combat. I will swing at you for, uh, I will gain a life up to 23 and I will swing at you for one, two, three, four, five. In response. Hell yeah. I tap my mana and take the damage. Five. Okay. Down to 14. 14. Untap upkeep. Draw. That's no. 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 Four, eight. Let's drop that in the bin. This Can't doesn't play. count as game three. We're doing it again. I thought <laughs> we played this one out. Uh, I have one card in hand that was going to save me at three mana, and I've missed my land drop for two turns. No. Uh, I'll play Torch Courier. Uh, I will gain a life from that entering. I will gain another life from uh, the goblin entering. Uh, I will swing at you for, what was it last time? Um, five? Can I scoop? You okay. can, I just... I've peeked at the top of my library. It's not a land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Game three, again. Um, I also had removal. <laughs> Better deck. The, the aggro beats my slow swing. Aggro with life gain on creature entry. Don't forget to shuffle your graveyard. Oh, that's a good idea. Tom, can you finish your beer so we can have another beer? Sure, I can. But we got to finish game three. No, but the Get beers are there, not in the fridge, Tom. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking moron. Uh, hey, Limestone Coast, sponsor us. Sponsor us. Look, I'll drink beers on stream if I'm sponsored. Absolutely. I will absolutely drink beers on stream if I'm sponsored. Okay. Hey, Beck, would you like a beer? I think she's just cracked one herself, but you never know. Still. Also depends if she's actually listening or not. Hi, chat. Today's episode is not sponsored by the one and only Limestone Coast in Malaga. Go and say hi and tell them I sent you. Um, <laughs> actually, people are doing board game nights there. Oh, actually. I think someone was trying to organize something there. For, for me, don't, don't, don't quote me. Okay, take that and try not to dribble all of the wet juices. They're not um, wet juices, they're beer juices. It's actually condensation. It is wet juices. <laughs> all right, I'll um, shuffle. So today we are drinking, I think I shuffled mine already. Today we are drinking a quince saison, which is a little bit fruity. Quince? It's made out of paste. Paste. Oh, that is. Yeah, Beck, if you're not watching, you should be. You need a, you need one of these. You need to come in, get a little bit ahead, you know. What? Oh, it is dripping down the side. I'm dripping beer onto myself. Do this all went horribly wrong. Why would you do that? Mostly because I was trying to stop it dripping on myself. Like, I was pouring it and it was like, let me just exist on the side of the cup now. Um, can people buy these glasses? Can people buy those glasses? No. That was a custom-made Nerds of the West glass. Go uh, to um, what Nerds of the West store, so you can't get one of these. Nerds of the West uh, for the store, which has I'm not wearing any Nerds of the West merch right now, uh, but it is available. We have hats now. 
nerdsofthewest.com to not get yourself a tasty beer mug. Tom, we should sell this. We should. I'll I'll find out where that got made because it was a gift. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you, Kaito. Now this is game three, which means you won game two. This is definitely game three. Are you going to cut it to game three? <laughs> I'll keep both. Uh, is this basically the still same on the player? Right? Yeah. Same hand as game one, because holy shit. Uh, no, but the same same hand as uh, the one that we mulliganed. Uh, that definitely wasn't game three. Cool. Uh, I will mulligan, because these are all four drops and five drops again. No, I have to as well. Ha, all, four, suck it. all four drops. I had have, I have three mana, which is tasty, but nothing below four mana. Yeah, I had two mana, and it was both mountains. I had all planes, which is fine. But that's what you want. It's a shame that Comet's main ability is if you're making squirrel tokens and he's a red white. It would be fun to put him in a squirrel deck. I really wanted to play a token generation deck with um, Vraska. Mm. The Vraska in there that's basically plus one, sack a creature, draw a card. It's like, mm. yeah. Would have been fun. I uh, I definitely need to look to see if there's any good soldiers in here for my soldier deck, but I think I've, I've got that pretty much down. Yeah, so is, is the plan still crack after game? game? Game Modern two, one. What, if you're still watching, uh, is crack a pack of your choice, get monocolored of that pack. You can then grab other packs, grab a Planeswalker to go with. So as long as we don't crack the same color, we should be all right. Or even, even if we crack- Even if we both crack the same color, it'll be interesting. All right, I can keep and I... We'll drop. I'm, not, I'm going down to five. One land in hand. Not, not a fun time. All right. You want to know? Want to know the fun part? I'm bottoming a land. Keeping three lands. No. Not worth it. Keeping two lands. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to. I may one. have. I'm about to bottom two, but I am on the draw, so it, we're basically gonna be even. No. I have I have two one drops and a two drop. Touch now it's your fault. Thanks, friend. You are. I stacked my deck. Look, someone's got to. Becky, you watching stream again? Becky, you paying attention yet? If you're not, come and get a beer, please. How you doing, bud? I'm bottoming two, aren't I? Yeah. Um. Play. The play's let's coming. Bottom that one, and let's bottom and one one drop that one. Spin them the right way around to make them so happy. Go ahead, good. friend. Mountain tapped. Torch Korea. Swing you for one. I uh, take one. Down to up to nineteen. Yeah. It's funny because I have to do that on the screen as well. Draw for turn, and go ahead. Do I play super aggro? Yeah, probably. Planes. Pay two for a Cavalry Drill Master. When it's the battlefield target creature gets plus two plus oh and gains first strike until end of turn. I'll swing at you for three. I'll take three. Down to 16. And I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. Let's drop that one. Tap two for a Ninth Bridge Patrol. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on Ninth Bridge Control. Nice. Banger. Go ahead. Uh, I did not draw a land, so I will go to combat and I will swing at you for three. I will take three. Count it. I will pay one for a clockwork drawbridge. This is a zero three with defender and pay three tap target creature. Cool. Tap. Untap. Draw. I will drop a land. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, someone's got to do it. That's all right. I, I, I kept this for a reason. Like, it will totally work out. Let's go two for a Tempered Veteran. I can pay one and tap it to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature with a plus one plus one counter on it, or pay six and tap it to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. If you're tapping that for six for one plus one plus one counter, hold. Remember when I said Jumpstart had some nice mana sinks? That's not one of them. <laughs> go ahead. Land. 
No. All right. I made a mistake. Uh, you've got a one, two and a one, one. I will swing you for three. Okay. I will. What's that? Whenever enter the battlefield, type creature and sacrifice another type creature against haste until yep. end of turn. Look, I'm going to block mm -hmm. the Joblin and I'll take the two. Very reasonable. Take two. Down to 11. I'll pass the turn. Uh, untap. You're off now let's just hope he floods out at this point. Let's... Three for Iron Bully. We've seen him. We love him. When it's the battlefield, I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Nice. I'm going to put the counter on the one that gets more counters from doing fun stuff. Hell yeah. I missed my land drop, which is unfortunate. Oh, you'll be fine. Um, zero, zero three. three. There's not really a point in me swinging them with a 2-2 two, two or a 1-2. Right, but, but but one of them's going to get through. Yeah, but one damage to me isn't a whole lot, so I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Land. No, but it is. You know her. You love her. Distinguished Conjurer. I'll pass the turn. I'm dead. Draw for turn. Now I'm missing land drops, but I'm not in as bad spot as you. Look. I still think it was the right call. Right. I wish I had a tap outlet. That'd be nice. Yeah. I've got one, but it um it costs three. <laughs> um okay dokie. What do I want to do, friends? Cry. That's what Cry. I want to do. Um mana, so you'd have to double block, which is fun. Two, two, and a one, one two. two. Yeah, so I could double block it just fine. What do you have? Zero, three, zero, three, one, two, two, one. What's the play? Crying, I told you. You go, you skip straight to uh, quiet step. Um, let's swing with the two, two. You can pay one to give more on one counter. So I will not block because why would I bother for two damage? You know what? I'm going to do it now. Yep. I take three. Take three. Bump that up to three. Down to 17. Go ahead, friend. Give me land. Haha, <laughs> planes. Want to know what I need this planes for? Uh, this is called uh, The Love Song of Night and Day because you're my brother. I love you so much. You and I both draw two cards. Sick. Yep. Uh, the second half of this is I create a 1-1 one, one bird with flying and then I put a 1-1 one, one counter on two target creatures. Cool. So we both draw two we cards. We both draw two cards. You and target opponent each draw two cards. Sick. I was like, I'll just be able to draw right back into more lands. Uh, and I will... You've got a 1-1. One, one. Uh, so I'll swing at you with a 1-2. Um, Let's I... If you're fine with me moving to combat. Yeah, I'm fine with you moving to combat. I will take the one. Take the one down to ten. Pass the turn. End step. I am going to destroy your enchantment. <laughs> I, need to, I need to burn. Yeah. I'll take the cards and then leave you with nothing. <sighs> what a guy. What'd you play? Um, Light of Hope. Choosing the second one, destroy target enchantment. It's that same card again. It's that same card. Okay, my turn. Yeah, back. You need okay. to get on this. Draw for turn. Thanks is... for the two lands, Tom. You're welcome. That is almost cinnamony. It is. It's tasty, it's fruity. Tasty, fruity, cinnamon, spicy. Mm -hmm. I love this card. It's removal. It's useless to me right now. Sick. You'll see it later. Sick. I hope. Um, four. I'm gonna go ahead and pay, let's go to that way around. For a Kami of Ancient Law. Hell yeah. I can sack it to destroy target enchantment, which is Hell great yeah. to not have to tap, not have to do anything. Yeah, no, I love that fleet. Um, I will... Move to combat? Yep. 
Swing for Latroy. I take three. I will tap and wipe to make it four. I take four. Up in the counters. Up to three. Down to 13. And on that, I will pass. You got one green mana open? Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, I'll play planes for turn. And let's make this fun for you. Mm -hmm. I will pay you just got a two two and a one one. One with menace specifically. Mm. And that is currently a four four. You know what? I think Comet's the right play here. I will pay four for Comet Stella Pup. Uh, I would like my D6 that has gone missing. This one? Yeah, that one. I'll get another one. I've bought the same D6. They're great. Oh, they're, just, they're just useful to have. They're, they're big boys. They're nice and visible. That's not a D6. No, but that is going to be Comet's ability. So I'm going to roll a six sided die. That is a two. So I'll make two 1 1 green uh, squirrel tokens. We didn't see them last time, but they gain haste. Cool. Uh, that will gain me two life. Sick. Everything Comet did was good for me. Uh, and Comet gets plus two, so he is currently in seven loyalty. Uh, so I'll draw a little squirrel. Now, not sure if you know this, uh, but we don't have squirrels in Australia, so I don't know what they look like. So that's my squirrel. They got tails, they got four. He's so got they, tails, he's got fangs. They it's got fine. a pouch, right? They're basically mini kangaroos. Oh, they're really shitty kangaroos. That is also really the worst one one I've ever written. That's three. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I gain two life up to 15. And then I would like to swing at you with two squirrels. Two little one one squirrels. squirrels. So I will block one of the squirrels. Yep. And I'm going to block the second squirrel with my iron block. Right. No more squirrels. Iron bully will die. This guy will get a counter. Hell yeah. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Land for turn. Thank you, Tom. Love to see it. What do we want to do? Cry. Cry. Move to cry step. Move. <laughs> That'll be fun. I wish I wish I had a combo for that because other than that, it's pretty useless. Um, now, do you need a reminder of Comet's other abilities before you choose your attacks? Yes, remind me. Uh, for his, if I roll a three, um, I will return a card with mana value two or less from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, that is a minus one after the fact. Oh, no, minus one and then return a card. Four or five, he deals damage equal to the number of loyalty counters on him to a target creature or player, and then minus two. So that's currently seven damage. And then uh, for a six, I can roll an additional two times after he gets a plus one. And no minus. No minus. Uh, there is a minus. Oh, no, so, but like, his first ability has no minus. His first ability is plus two. His second ability has the minus. Minus one. And his third ability is minus two after it deals the damage. And then the last Sixth one. ability is plus one, and then I get to roll okay. another two so times. So it's, it's more than likely that you neg him, but you get some bonuses from that. Uh, it, no, they're even, but move on. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, no, you're right. There's four abilities, not three. It's more... Um, ba, 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 ba. How much life are you on? I am on 15 to your 10. I'm playing this aggro because it's all I got. It's all I got, man. Mm, if I draw a land, my choices become very interesting. So many options. But do you really have that many options? You've only got five mana. It's not going to go only that well for you. Mana. We've got a couple of options. Five mana and a dream. Five mana and a dream indeed. Um, move to combat? Yeah. 
swing. Let's swing at Covenant for five. All right, I'll block with the zero three. I need the combat up and running. Yeah, you can block with zero three. That's all right. <laughs> Goodbye, little man. I hope combat brings you back to life. Tap four for a Sky Hunter patrol. Ooh, uh, two three flying first strike. We okay. love it. Cool, cool, cool. I think you can go ahead. Alrighty then. Now, it depends what I draw here. That is not a planes. That is interesting. Welcome on in. If you're joining us, very interesting. we're playing some Jumpstart Oathbreak. Oathbreaker? Brawl. Yeah, uh, Oathbreaker, Jumpstart, Jumpstart, Oathbreaker. It's not Brawl, It's not Brawl. Okay. Jumpstart Oathbreaker. So we basically cracked a pack, chose a pack for each other, and then chose our own third pack. Um, saying chose is we've had other packs that we've already cracked in the past, sorted by color. We make a deck out of three packs. In this case, we've both got two color decks. Picked a Planeswalker to go with the colors that we've chosen and we're playing those packs. So this is game three. Tom won the first one. did a good one. game so far. Tom slaughtered in the first one. Yeah. I won the second one, and this is definitely a legitimate game three. Um, and it's a bit of back and forth. So uh, I'm putting the onus on you and trying to survive a little bit longer. Prayer of Binding. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Prayer of Binding leaves the battlefield. I gain two life. I'm gonna blap you big boy. In response to the trigger, yep. I am going to sack the Kami to destroy target enchantment. So when he enters the battlefield, he'll trigger exile? Stack. Yep. No, because the exile hasn't resolved. Ah, very true. Very, it's very true. on the battlefield, but it hasn't resolved. Yep. I'm sacking this in response. I believe the trigger will go to see if this is there yep. and then not happen. Uh, no, the uh, uh, you want to wait until it goes on because the trigger will go on. It will exile it regardless because I've targeted and then you'll remove it before the secondary trigger. And it's the battlefield exile to one target non-land permanent opponent control until prayer of binding it leaves the So the, the way you're stacking it at the moment, you're removing so it. So that's on a stack targeting this. Yeah, and you're removing it before this trigger has resolved. I think you're right. Yeah, um, so you want to wait for it to hit the battlefield first. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, 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 uh, there is no way you can stop it unless you've got a one mana white counter spell um, from exiling this. Okay. And if I remove it beforehand, it goes forever. That's the logic, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so at the moment, it sits like this. Cool. Sits like. Yep. Sits like this. I gain two life. Cool. All right. I would like to roll for Comet. That is a six. He goes up to eight, and I get to roll an additional two times. That's dumb. That is dumb, because if I roll a one and then a four or a five, I win the game. As a four. Does it have to be in that order? Do you, did you need the one first? No, uh, because I can also do this twice in a row. So I'm going to deal eight damage to your face. Because that's how many counters. Uh, so deal damage equal to the number of loyalty counters on him and then minus two. And then minus two. Yeah. That's so you take dumb. you take eight. The comet goes down to six loyalty. I go down to two. And then I can roll again. I roll a three. I can return a card with mana value two or less from the graveyard to my hand. I will return the torch career. That is probably the worst one for me to roll uh, because combat does go down to five. Yep. I get no creatures with haste to attack you with. Um, and I get no life gain. So, sit. Look, pretty even turn. You know, I dealt eight damage to you. I got nothing in return. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I am on 17. You are on two. I would like to pass the turn. And step, sack. Yep. I'll get my boy back. Get your boy back, but without all this counts. Without all this counts, because it was exiled. My turn. Your turn. Untap. Draw for turn. 
land for turn, which puts Planeswalker online. It's true. How quickly can you do 17 damage to me before I deal two damage to you? That is the question. That's, that's the real question. Honestly, I thought his ability was just to target creature. Um, I have the mana online to cast Ajani. I can do that and put some counters on some people. Hell yeah. The problem, see the problem with this is a dumb planeswalker because it doesn't matter what loyalty you're at, you can still get the best or the worst of them. Whereas my planeswalker, obviously I need to get it to 11 before I can do the dumb stuff. Yeah. Um, the one in six chance to get two more abilities is nutty. Yeah. So you said you're on 17. I'm on 17. And if I draw another mountain, none of this matters. None of it matters? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, I can just roll for Comet, but I'm hoping to okay. not win by a Comet's bullshit. Six. Um, let's go ahead and yep. plus two. So you're going to go up to six counters. And I'm going to put the two on Sky Hunter. Yep. Flying first strike. Yep. So one of those, please. Two counters on you. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to swing four damage at Comet. All right, no, that's a good move. That's a good move. That actually does help you. Uh, Comet is down to one. 50-50 chance Comet will neck himself next turn. 100% and only deal one damage to you. That's great. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's worth me swinging. I have one, two, one, and two, one. Yeah, go ahead. The winner is not a mountain. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh. We're in it. I'm still in it. Definitely still in it. You have two creatures to block with and two mm -hmm. to life. So I think this is the best play. I'll roll for Comet. Okay. Come on. Middle of the pack. As a one, I get two 1-1 one, one squirrels. With haste. With haste, which I think is game. I but believe so. I believe so. I'll also play for a torch career just in case it's not. Cool. Good game. Comet is dumb. Uh, the, anyway, the reason I wanted a second um, mountain, because removal matters, Goblin Grenade. Love this card. Love this card. Love this art. This is everything I love in Magic. Sack a creature, deal five damage. Oh, banger. We're going to play uh, Monocolored. Monocolored. All right, we're into match number two. This is Mono Green Stompy Oathbreaker. Both of us are running different Mono Green Commanders. Calum's running a cheap commander. I am running Nisa Genesis Mage. This is a seven cost commander that will hopefully do some work if and when the table is getting stalled out. What do you got going on? I have Vivian Champion of the Wilds. Um, for free, for nothing, for just static ability, I can cast creature spells as though they had flash. So you best believe shit's coming out on Tom's turn. Hell yeah. Um, plus one until my next turn, up to one target creature against Vigilance and Reach. And look at the top three cards of your library, exile one face down and put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as that remains exiled, you may look at the top. You may look at that card and cast it for if it's a creature spell. Yeah, that text is real small. What's your signature spell? My signature spell. Also be the name. Hey. Suck it. Signature spell, Titanic Brawl. So two mana, costs one less if it targets a creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Um, and target creature I control fights, target creature I don't control. So nice. a bit of removal on a stick. I will take the draw, but my signature spell costs six and it has a lot of options. I choose two of exile target player's graveyard and gain a life for each card exiled. Search my library for up to two basic lands, put them onto the battlefield tapped. Create two two green board tokens, two 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 green board tokens, or put two one one counters on each creature I control. It's pretty good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's hope for some mana dorks. You said you were on the draw. I'm on so the draw. I choose first if I mulligan. Yes. I am gonna keep and we'll see how it plays out. I'll I'll keep. It's a mistake, but I'll keep. Go ahead. Alright, I'll play a forest and I don't believe I've one drop, so I'll pass. Draw. Two foil forests. Hell yeah. Go ahead. One foil forest. Uh, uh, uh. And did I see one of these with a two chop? It is. I'll pay two for a reckless amplomancer. This is an elf that will never see play. So two, two for two, and for five, I can double its power and toughness until end of turn. Okay. Draw for ten. You should play Vivian. Even better. Tribute to the world, Drew. <laughs> yeah, okay, you keep that opening hand. <laughs> I just drew that. 
Yeah, okay. So once whenever a creature enters the battlefield, draw a card if it's a big boy, otherwise make it a big boy. Yep, go ahead. I hope in green you have some enchantment removal. Look, let's see. Uh, I'll play a forest return. Oh god, there's, of course there is. The ring tennis me is in here. Um, and I'll get a little bit of ramp going. It's not quite the ramp that I want. Um, but uh, a 3-2 three, for 3, when it enters the battlefield, create a tapped power stone token. Okay. Uh, this squirrel is now a power stone. Sick. And I'll swing at you for 2. I will take 2. Hell yeah, you will. Down to 18. This is commander, right? 40 health? <laughs> uh, Untap. Draw for turn. It could be useful. Could be useful. Bang. You know what? I probably Land need that in my Aragorn deck. That's a good one. Land for turn. Four mana. You've got to be able to do something with four mana. You can't be all big boys all the time. It's not supposed to be an aggressive format, Camel. Uh, oh no. You're up. Let's have some fun. Okay. Format. X equals two. Primordial height. <laughs> Enter the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. You know, that's not bad. You yeah. still, still get the additional <laughs> plus. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Enters, that's not bad. Enters with four. Four one one counters on it. Counters on it. All right. All right. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, double the number of plus one plus one counters on Primordial Hydra. He doesn't have hide, He doesn't have Trample. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Primordial Hydra has Trample as long as it has ten or more plus one plus one counters. All right. On. He does have. He does have Trample. I will. I will in fact worry about it. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. It's dumb. Uh, worth it? Yeah. Uh, I'll pay four for a Primeval Herald. 3-1 with Trample, and whenever he enters the battlefield or attacks, I may search the library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Sick. Uh, so I'll search for forest and pass the turn. I tap. It was four forests on the bottom of my library, so I am shuffling. Sick. You love to see. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, double the number of countless. So I that's cry. already happened. We go. I'm just gonna the big boy die because I, I moved to Christ. Don't. Big boy for big boy. Yeah. Uh, where's the eight? There it is. Eight. Cut if you want. Um, skibbity bop, scop, get up. You gotta do it. Like, like I can't let it through, so you've gotta do it, right? Three. Vivian. Vivian! Vivian, please! Enters with four. Yep. I am going to plus one it to five. Yep. So one target creature gains vigilance and reach. This one. <laughs> yep. Um cool. What do you have over there? I have a three two, a two two, and a three one with trample. Cool. Swing for eight. I will block with my 2-2. Two, two. Cool. 2-2 two, two dice. Us. I will... Nothing. All right. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'll play Forest. Seek. We have six whole mana available. That's a power stone. That is a power stone. That's a three one that says whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, search for stuff. Yeah. And that is a three two. That's it. That makes a power phone and ATBs. A power phone. Power phone, yeah, hell yeah. Um I moved to cry step. Sick. Uh and I moved to combat. Uh, before combat. Yep. I'm going to pay one and make my thing fight your thing. Pay Ding. one or is it two? One because it targets a creature with a plus one plus one counter. <laughs> That's so dumb. It now costs two more to cast. Yeah. Bing. All right. I move straight through combat and I pay 
six uh, for a Cradle Clear Cutter. Uh, he's a three six because I'm paying his full cost uh, that says add an amount of green equal to Cradle Clear Cutter's power. Cool. Ten. And I move to uh, second cry step and pass it home. Hunter, upkeep trigger. 16 counts. <laughs> 16, 16, we're trying. How big are you, Dom? 20. I'm cool. on 20. Draw for 10. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay, let's go. Land for turn. Hell yeah. Heads up, I started the game with six lands. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, six lands and a primeval hydra? Nope, six lands and a card I haven't played yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. The odds of you drawing more lands is pretty thin at that point, right? Um, okay. Oh, you're a special boy. It's a golem. That's a construct. That's cool. Let's... Six. Yeah. Targeting. Yeah. Um, Basically, unless I draw a straight up exile, this game's over. Three. Pride Malkin. Oh, banger. Enter the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature I control. Yeah. Nice. Let's go 17. Yeah. Just so doubling three. makes it really awkward. Real big. Um, and that'll also enter with its own two counters on it. Amazing. Um, each creature I control with a plus one plus one counter has trample. I mean, it's already got trample. It's already got trample. Fine, don't even worry about it. Um, swing. There's no point in me even blocking. That's the problem. So I won't. I'll take 17. Go ahead. Let's see what I can do. Removal. Uh, I draw a forest. <laughs> see, I'm happy uh, one, for two, you. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, I will pay seven for Nisa Genesis Mage, um, which is a banger. Untap up to two target creatures and two target lands. Cool. Uh, I will neg three her to put her to two to give Cradle Clear Cutter. Plus five, plus five until end of turn. In response. Yeah. Bink. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you get priority for that. Yeah. Or cry anyway. Um, will that have actually helped? No. Uh, I pass the turn and die. I'm tap for funsies. Who knew Prime World or Hydra was so much fun? Look, I drew a land, Tom. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I flash out Bounding Wolf. That's what was in my opening hand. <laughs> you get <kept> six <laughs> lands and a Bounding Wolf. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I figured I could flash it out to block one of your boys and then... Look, that's fair. I had some cool cards. They weren't good cards, but they were cool. <laughs> Primordial Hydra, Tom. Primordial Hydra. And the Titanic Brawl. Oh. <laughs> Thanks what for a, coming. What a great game. I'm so proud of you. Who knew Mono Green gets Mono Green, the person with the more counters one? <laughs> who, who knew, uh, what is it, Hybrid of the World Tree? No. Uh, Tribute to the World Tribute Tree. Tribute to the World Tree was such a good card. What's it worth? Like, I think it's like a $10 card. Hey, Google, what's Tribute to the World Tree worth? <laughs> I do actually want one. I'm building a mono green stumpy deck out of cards that I only own or pull. I'm not buying anything. I want to see if Google figure that out. Um, you can just walk into our bedroom. We've got one. No, it just says trivia. All, all it picked up was trivia. What's trivia? Tribute to the World Tree. On a good games pricing because it's Australian dollars. Not oh, Card Kingdom. Everyone goes by Card Kingdom. Uh, it's nineteen dollars Australian. <laughs> can I have it? No. I want to keep these mostly together or pull them apart for my own thing. Look, see, um, now the big thing, fi Tom... 15 USD. Um, ...is you now own a tribute to the World Tree, so you can proxy it for every deck there. That's true. That is exactly how proxying works. I'm a firm believer of, hey, proxy it if you want it, but 
I also just like to proxy the stuff that I already own, so I'll buy one copy of it, because fuck buying like three of those for oh, three yeah. decks. No, I'm all uh, I'm building this mono green stompy deck just as like what I've got on hand, low power commander. Um I just I just that little things. With a mono green stompy deck, the problem is it doesn't have a win con. The wing con is mono green stompy. What are you talking about? Yeah, but like it does a lot of things, but it just doesn't win. So well, who are we running as the commander? My commander uh, gives my things trample. Like I'm that's running, all that matters. I'm running the troll, the mono green. Oh uh, yeah, no, because he's boring. No, he's fun. It's, yeah, but it's Voltron. But he's not. A, yeah, exactly. Which is not what mono green does. Yeah, it does. Hello, Mogarin. No, I'm running the original Gorkle. Okay. Um, so it's uh, green things cost less, and I think he gives trample as well. Yeah, okay. yeah. but. It's not boring because it has indestructible on my turn, can't be the target of non-green spells. Y you're complaining about not having a win con. You can have a win con in the command zone. Nah, like nah. that's do better next time. I did, let me find the let me find the card I was telling you about. Jeremy, if I dox our chats, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can just I can just do that. <coughs> you good, bro? Oh, wrong chat. That one. That's why it spit the wrong way. Killed this, me. this is proxy art, Tom, and you'll see it just looks fucking great. Good old sanguine bond. Um, I, I don't actually have the proxy is art. Is that Gorkle? No. Signature okay. slam. Oh, signature slam. What a great card. That is the one I want to build. So yeah. I'm, I'm on an attempt to build one of every dual color deck as a commander. So there's a couple I have left. You're not doing the full 32? There's only... 10 dual colors. No, but the full 32 is one of each color combination. Yeah, but right now I'm working on this. I have a f like, fair. I'm, I have quite a few decks already. Mono colored is probably the hardest one I want to build. But you've got five mono colored ones already. Yeah, no, they don't count. They're shit. They're shit. They are. See, I built them well before I had um, an idea of Commander and I built them so that I could get people to play. Yeah. Um, but those decks are a slugfest. Like the point of those decks is to play against each other. Yep. And they're fun. They're oh, cheap. Oh, they're easy. Oh, you nailed it. I've really fucking nailed it. Oh, I yeah. apologize, friends. Vivian, is she gonna work? Not when it's not plugged in. Why isn't it plugged in? Though? Because I had to unplug it to see where you moved it to. Vivian should now be showing up on screen. Sick, I'm on the play this time, right? Or you lost, so you get to choose. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be on the draw because I'm playing higher mana. Cool. I'll keep, it's a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Bing, bing, bing. The face of, is it the face? Yeah, she's the face. No, oh, the wolf lady. Yep, mild mannered librarian. Pay four, my man librarian becomes a werewolf, put two plus one plus one counters on it, and I draw a card. Activate only once. Nice. Go ahead. Mount, uh, forest pass. Untap. Draw for turn. Second forest. Um, <laughs> swing for one. Take one. I take one. Uh -huh. um, I will tap two for a wary thespian. When it enters the battlefield or dies, surveyor one. Bang up. Uh, graveyard. Land to the graveyard. Nice. Go ahead. Uh, I will drop a forest. I will pay two. You know it. You love it. Reckless Amplomancer. Sick. Pass turn. Draw for turn. That one. Three. Kamast. Yep. Um, Vivian, champion of the wilds. Hell yeah. And they cast creature spells as though they had flash. Hell yeah. Um, and let's, I'm gonna have five, cause I'm, what do I neg two? Mm. <laughs> that is a tough choice. Cause she doesn't die from that. She's not one of the ones that only has a neg ability. Yeah. Um, Vigilance and Reach isn't going to come in too clutch this early, I reckon. Um, 
Yeah, let's neg two her, down to two. Okay. And what's the neg two? Uh, look, the top three cards of my library, exile one face down and put the rest on the bottom of my library in, a, uh, in any order. For as long as that card remains exiled, I may look at that card and cast it if it's a creature spell. Nice. Fun thing is even if Vivian disappears from the battlefield, yeah, that card can still be cast. Yeah. I didn't used to run cards that way, but uh, that seems to be the, the modus operandi these days is as long as it's exiled, you got it. That one is going to be exiled with Vivian. Those two are going to go to the bottom. Love to see it. I'm going to be honest, Tom. <laughs> Tribute to the world tree just got bottomed. Makes me a little bit sad. That, means that card's <laughs> very good. Um, yeah, because I can only cast it if it's a creature spell. Ah, okay. I can't yeah, cast yeah, 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 yeah. So I could exile it, it's just gone forever. It's gone. Um, two, two that you can do some stuff with. Two, Hell. two that costs five. Three. Block. Cool. It dies. I get to serve out one. Hell yeah. Um, that can stay on top. All right. Go ahead, friend. I don't draw a land here. It's game two. All right. That's game. You mean game three? <laughs> no, no. This is this is game game two again. Can I? <laughs> uh, I pass the turn and cry. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. Heads up. I kept the land on top. It's yep. fun. Um, Casting is still standard speed. Where's your creature gone? I blocked. Oh, it's a three. I, I'm like, I had a one one. What do you mean? You may. No, I, I have. It is three one. I thought it was a one one. But you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Facts. Um, already played a land for turn. Two for a Ruinous Recluse, which I probably should have done on your turn, but hey, reach Death Touch, 1-1. One, one. Swing for one. I'll take one. Have fun. I will. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I'm going to fucking plus, plus one. Plus one, yeah. Yep. I'll give you a chance, because hey, we're doing things in backwards orders here today. Look, we're doing the exact same thing as last time. That's a opponent opportunist. This is a Squirrel Power Token. Pass the turn. End step, I'm going to tap one and cast the Wolf Boy that I have. Hell Face yeah. down. Young Wolf, Undying. When this creature dies, if it had no plus one plus one counters on it, return to the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. Young Wolf. Um, <laughs> no, untap. I said Young Wolf. Forest. Um, yes. You know what? I'm supposed to be the one ramping into more things. Neg two again. That one can go at the bottom. Those two can go in that order. Um, at least you've only got one ones at the moment. Bunch of one ones. Yeah. Um, that came in this turn, so it has scumming sickness. Yep, just a bit of scum. That is a 3-2. He is a 3-2. It's a very good 3-2. 3-2 that makes a little bit of mana. Um, I think I'm going to say go ahead. All right, then. Land, please. It's a land. All right. I have five mana available. What is the right play? Probably this. Play four for an Ivy Lane Denizen. Whenever another green trick creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. And I'll pass the turn. And step, I'm going to go ahead and tap oh, four. Who could have seen that coming? To make Mild Mannered Librarian do a thing. So put two plus one plus one counters on her nice. and draw a card. Can only do it once, though. Untap. Why, don't you, why isn't that just like monstrosity, right? Like, they have a keyword for that. Yeah. Because monstrous. Oh. Monstrous. Yeah, because monstrous, monstrous is only. Yeah. It becomes monstrous. Is monstrous the one that if it has no plus one plus one counters on it? You no, it's it? just if it's not monstrous, it becomes monstrous. Which it is, is harder to track. But. Which is the one that if it has no plus one plus one counters on it, you can do the ability? Honestly, I don't know off the top of my head. Land for turn. I do like those lands. The the uh, are they Phyrexia or March of the Machine? Like the Machines. invasion yep. across everything lands. They're cool looking. Uh, so you have a two three. You have a three two. Mm -hmm. You have a three three. Um, what 
do I want to do? Well, I'm going to have to plus one you because. Well done, Tank. One. Is Tank under the table? Yep. Just sounds like someone's having a party next door. <laughs> the base is going through the walls. Um, what does this card do? Let me check again. Sick. Um, let me check it one more time just because I can. Just me casually forgetting to put a card back into my library. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, I think I'm gonna say go ahead. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Alrighty then. Ooh, banger. Not useful, but it is a banger. And I do love to see him. Uh, I will pay Four. For an Elder Leaf Mentor. When he enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one green warrior creature token. Um, just, just This is definitely not a white soldier and is definitely a, a green elf, Greek elf warrior oh, token. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, got you covered. That's racist. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll get two triggers then. I will put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Elder Leaf Mentor, and I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on the... On my Young Wolf? Oh, I could, but I won't. On the Agathian Opportunist. I mean, if you put it on the Young Wolf, it doesn't come back with a 1-1 one, one counter. Actually, I'm going to put it on the Ivalene Denison. Okay. Uh, and I'll pass the turn. Two. Okay, end step. Yeah. Six. Surak and Gore Claw. <laughs> trample, other creatures I control have trample, and whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on it, it gains haste until end of turn. Here's the other one that I considered running as the commander. The, the thing with green mono green is you want to like cheapen your stuff, but he's very good in the nine yeah. nine. Cool, draw for turn. I cry. I cry, I'm dead. Land for turn. <laughs> Mm. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think I have to. You gotta, right? I don't know what it is, but you gotta do it. You can give it haste. It gets haste from... Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Um, not that one. The one I put down is the one I want to play. Um, Timberland Ancient. Ooh. Six mana, six five, reach, trample, forest cycling, doesn't matter. It's a six five with reach and trample. Um, other and creatures under control token. have trample. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one possible counter on it. I would love some red, some red dice. I don't know how many red dice are in here. Oh, but I, just, red dice. I do have red dice, I just don't know how many of them are in here. That one, please. Okay. It gets a plus one plus one counter. Gross. Um, and it gains haste until end of turn. That's a 7 6 with trample. Let's go ahead and plus one Vivian up to three. Yep. One creature against Vigilance and Reach. How big are your boys? 4 3, 3 2, 3 4, 1 1. 4 3, 3 2, 3 4, 1 1. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not looking good for me. I have the tiniest amount of removal. And you have a lot of threats. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead. I think I'm going to have to swing. Because if I swing with a big one, you can double block. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but you should just do it anyway. Yeah. I can double block. Is it a good idea to? Let's go ahead. Let's swing with the big two. So that's going to be um, 13 damage coming at you with trample. Mm. So the issue I see right now is you can just pay one and remove one of my blockers. But it, with your it, it fights spell. specifically. Yeah. So it will, my, like they will take damage. Yeah. But yes. The issue is if I don't block, you can still do that. <laughs> uh, so that is a 6-5. Yep. 
Uh, so I will block him with a um, three, uh, four, three, and a three, two. Okay, so four, five, six, seven damage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, four, four, three, and a one, one. Just the five damage. Because otherwise you can kill both of them. I don't want that. Um, you know what? Let's, let's end this game. One mana for a arachnoid adaption. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, gains reach until end of turn, untap it. Bing. It is now an eight, seven. Yep. So that's what, 15 damage coming at you? They'll both die. He'll survive. And how much damage will I take? Uh, I'll block four of it. Uh, so you'll take. F I'll take 11 damage. Yep. 11 damage. Your deck's really good at doing normal green stuff. My deck's really good at doing other green stuff, and it hasn't had a chance to because normal green is really strong. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that'll be my turn. All right. Let's see what I can do about that. I'm going to be honest, probably not much. Probably not much. I will play a forest turn. I will. I can basically. I can remove one thing. That's. I'm tapped out. Just to have. Yeah. And being tapped out uh, means it's beer o'clock with your fancy Nerds of the West beer glass. Don't get it at nerdsofthewest.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this is the right call. I'll pay three for a uh, Mirror Mare Garden. It's a Dwarf Soldier 4-2. When he dies, the ring tempts me. Sick. I'm gonna uh, keep him alive just for you. Nice. I'll go, put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Where does he get the counter from? Whenever another green creature ends the benefit under your control. Can I have that in my deck? No, it would be real nice. Uh, and I'll pay three for, you know it, you love it. Band together. Up to two target creatures you control, their damage equal to their power to another target creature. So it doesn't matter which way I choose this, you're tapped out so I can blap. Uh, so I can go claw with... Uh, Eight damage. Wish I could give it undying. That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, Slows him down just, just a tiny little bit. It was only plus two on my turn, right? That was the thing. Yeah. Where's the card that I played? This one right here. That one. Oh, the one I left on the cam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, until end of turn, untap it. Cool. Yeah. I did the removal and I passed the turn. How much life you want? I'm on seven. Untap. It's not looking good. Draw for turn. Land drop for turn. Thank you, Tom. So he's a 7-5 with Trample. Yes. Let's go ahead, Neg 2. Yep. Look at 3. I think you win. By full swinging? Yeah. Anyway, we're playing out. Um, no, okay, it's not win. So it's... I, I was looking at you could... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. You are on what? Seven. Seven. You can block three of them. Yeah, but the issue is you can fight something to um, take it through. It'd be nice if I had a sack outlet. Just saying. Mm. It'd be nice if I had one more mana. Um. Yeah, that uh, the, the trample in the combination with the um, signature spell is quite. Because my stuff doesn't have trample anymore now that you. Got no, but he, he has trample, trample. and thing. he has seven power. Um, let's. You don't have any trample, do? You? I do not. Let's go ahead and do that but one. Basically, I have Those to two in that order. double block him, and even then, five damage will still come through. Uh, let's go three. Yep. Four. Let's not throw it across the table. That's, That's your card. Is that mine? That's your signature spell. That's right. Um, if one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a permanent you control, that many plus one plus one plus one counters. How much? That's fine. So that's five. 
So five, mm-hmm. three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total. So here's what I'm seeing, right? One, two, one, two. Right, if I if I just block one apiece, you then get him to fight him. He survives. This dies, and the seven damage comes through. Yeah. So I have to double block there to stop that seven damage coming through. Yeah. But even then, you have one uh, for five coming through, uh, and I don't want to call it out, but you can pay four and put a one-one counter on that. Yeah, so we're going to have, let's say, 7, 8, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, and, and I can, can block. block. I'd okay. probably block there, but... You know what? Yep. Maths is for blockers. Yep. skibbity bop bop skid up bop skid did did up bop 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 I'll block, as I said, because otherwise it's lethal. Yeah. Um, because you can just fight the thing, and then I will block your... Uh, so that'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, so it'll be 3, and this is a 3. Yeah, it works out the exact same. I'll block there. Before damage. Yeah. 4. Counter. Yep, gets 2 1-1 one, one counters. 1. The Death Touch fights your boy. With this. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, but so he gets 2 1-1 one, one counters. Yeah, he gets 2 1-1 one, one counters. Yep, yeah, we'll just, we're just counting it out. Cool. 2 1-1 one, one counters on him. Yep, so he's a 3-3. Three, three. Pay 1. Titanic Brawl. My yep. Death Toucher. It's gonna fight your boy. Yep, the ring tempts me. Doesn't matter. Uh, my death this is my die. ring bearer. Uh, it's a uh, my death touch will die, right? It's, uh, it's only got one count. Oh, it's got two counts on it. Thank yep. you very much. Um, he does three, die. Three, he does die. Yeah, yep. that's fine. I didn't actually need to pay the four. That's fine. The death touch would have killed it anyway. It was wasted yep. mana. Um, damage. Yep. I take one there and. Five there. So six. Yeah. You are down to one. I take six. That dies. Bye bye. Yes. That does not because it blocked a three three, right? Was that lethal if you didn't use your spider? No, because the spider would have had to fight to get rid of the big boy. No, you could just make this fight. But it would have died. No, because he's got six against my five. Yeah, it would have died to the second one though, because it still would have taken the damage from both. Of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you kill this, right? Yep. You 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 then deal seven damage to this with five coming through, so it works out the exact same way. But your spider hits for oh maybe three probably. Hey guys, welcome to magic where you mess up and you hope. I'm still dead away. next turn. <laughs> um, I'm tapped out. Yeah, I have one blocker. Hell yeah, one blocker, and that has been cast once. I don't have a ring bearer, but my ring is at one. I play a forest. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven whole mana and a dream. Hey, tank. I play a Dunedain Rangers. Nope. Landfall. And I, uh, I, I get the ring to tempt me again, and I'll, I'll pay. Two. I mean, the ring's now tempted you twice, Tom. That is true. If I did it the right order, the the ring would have tempted me again, and this would be a. a new, we'll say I did. Okay. It's not going to attack, so it doesn't matter. But this is a ring bearer on level two ring. This has a one one counter on it. I'll pay two for Mary Doc Brandy Buck. Whenever one or more half things you control attack, create a food token. He has a one one counter on him. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. With one mana open. One mana and a dream. Drop a turn. Look, I guess I'm going to have to plus this thing. Well, who could see that? Trample. Three. No one we love him. Plus one, plus one counter on this guy. Nice. Uh, each creature I control with a plus one, plus one counter has trample. It would actually be two plus one, plus one counters yep. because of this thing. It's up to that much. And if, how much? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Nine. You can only block three things, and you're on one life, I believe. Yes. 
And you've so got a fight spell. Full swing. Yeah. You can block three of them. Yeah. Doesn't even matter before the fight spell. But Callum, I have a giant growth. In response, fight spell. <laughs> uh, what a game. Who knew green could do so many green things? Game three, technically. I mean, it, it, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I got <laughs> things to do today. What What did you think of Jump Sardos Breaker? I think it's fun. I think it would be more fun to have more Oath Breaker Commanders at your disposal. You need the full set. Obviously, you need the full 32. Oh, actually, I don't are, think there are only four not even, Commanders. No, I mean, I mean, have a printer over there and mm. literally do a quick Google, find the Commander you want and print it out. That'd be cool. Purely because I think you're too limited by the Commanders we have with the color combos. Where if you can pick a good Commander to go with it. You still pick the signature spell out of the cards you pull. Honestly, that's the most fun thing. But if you can still get a decent commander that actually synergizes with your deck, because I'm going to be honest, finding big boys to play big boys just works by it's, itself. It, it just works. But in the last game we had, I think having you know more commanders at our disposal to go, hey, this one works well with yeah. With the specific cards I've got, you're going to have a more fun game. I will say, it is my favorite way to play Earthbreaker. I haven't found Earthbreaker to be a particularly amazing format, but this is just a limited, throw things together, have a Planeswalker as your commander, try something different. It's, it's kind of fun. From what I read online, like I, I've tried to make an Earthbreaker deck. I never kind of finished and went through with it, but people's idea of Earthbreaker is you can break the game too easily with a signature spell to the side. You're like, yep. give me this commander and give me the signature spell and I can win super quickly because I've got this instant It's the signature spell that matters more than anything. Yeah. I like it from a flavor perspective. That's why I'm building werewolves, right? Like yeah. werewolves are not a good tribe. Day-night cycle is the worst nice. thing they ever introduced to magic. Yeah, so. I'm still not putting it into my werewolf deck, even though there's good day-night cards. But as an Oathbreaker deck, 60 cards, werewolves. Would be good. Not bad. Anyway, when there's less, we do dumb magic things sometimes. We mostly play Commander, and we sometimes do tech tech videos and other things. We've heard Callum. How we doing? My name is Tom. Thank you so much for watching our videos, and hopefully we catch you live one day, and we will catch you next time. See you, friends. <laughs>